Hey guys, this is Manas and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review, I mean I will tell you about the features of this pure Nexus ROM for Lyco LE2 which is based on Nougat 7.1.2 operating system. So without further ado, let's get started. So the video will have two parts. First the good thing that is pros of this ROM and second is bad things that means cons of this ROM. So watch the video till the end to know what are the bugs of this ROM. Let's start with the good things. UI As I have told you, the ROM is based on Android Nougat 7.1.2. The UI is stock Android and Google Pixel Launcher is pre-installed. I encountered no lags while operating this ROM on my Lite 2. It's pretty smooth. The animations and all are fully tuned for this device. And you can also change that by going to developer's option according to your liking. Customization on settings menu you will find a pure nexus settings where you can tweak the ROM. Other than that there is nothing much in the customization department. It's pretty limited. Speed App launching times are really quick. I don't know it's same as EUI or not but if you don't have EUI side by side you won't feel that. The ROM is pretty smooth and really quick. Connections Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot and VoLTE. Everything works fine. I never have any issues on that. Fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor also works from the very first boot and it is quite fast too. But when you register your fingerprint for the very first time in this ROM, it will reboot. So don't worry about that. Your device will be completely okay. Now let's move to the bad things. First of all the camera. The still camera works perfectly fine. The quality is also good here. But the lens blur sometimes does not work. When you click after selecting the lens blur option, the camera simply crashes by saying cannot connect to the camera. Also if you select video quality to QHD that is 4K, then also the camera crashes. So you have to stick with Full HD. I even updated the camera app that is a Google camera but it's of no use. Second, the IR blaster. The IR blaster also does not work but I don't care about that cause I don't use that feature. If you use IR blaster pretty often then stick to the stock room. Third, heat. While charging the phone heats up too much. Sometimes it reaches 50 to 53 degrees celsius. The phone even heats up when doing graphic intensive work like gaming or watching videos or playing music for a long period of time. Which is not the case with EUI. So that's a bad thing. So guys that's my take on this pure nexus ROM for Lyco LE2. If I missed something do let me know by dropping a comment below. If you found this video helpful then hit the like button and consider subscribing to watch more contents like this. Thank you for watching.